Hi everyone, it's Mark Elliott from GolfPerformance.ca. I'm at the beautiful Sunnydale Golf and Country Club on a quiet afternoon in the fall in the private teaching area. Today I'm going to talk to the right-handers about their lead wrist angle, your left wrist if you're a right-handed golfer, and how it relates to the face of the club at impact and the face's relationship with the path of your club at impact. First of all, a couple terms. A neutral wrist is a pretty flat wrist, okay? If I do this, this is wrist flexion, which for some reason the golf industry wants to call a bowed wrist. I have no idea why. This is wrist flexion. This is wrist extension, which for some, for some reason the uh, golf industry wants to call wrist cupping. Again, I have no idea why. We have flexion, we have extension. And so I want to show you very simply how this dramatically affects the club face and the resultant shot. If I assume a normal-ish golf posture and I don't do much with my wrists and I start to make a backswing, that face is quite neutral to my spine, it kind of matches my spine, and the path, okay? And if I stand up, that golf club stands up with me. If I flex my wrist on the way back, that club face is now, and it's pointing more towards the ground, is quite closed and it will be close to the path. Now you'll notice when I stand up, it does not stand up with me, it's still closed. The more I go into extension on the way back, the more that face is open. And so as I extend more and more, the face gets open. And as you can see, when I stand up, the face is now wide open to the sky. So I just want you to remember that what you do with your wrist has a dramatic influence on where the golf ball starts. Because if the face is starting left and it's a center hit, the golf ball will start more left. And if the face is left of the path, your golf ball will hook. If the face is to the right of the target, the golf ball will start to the right. And if the face is to the right of the path, it will slice, it will fade, okay? And so what you do with your wrist is incredibly important. So I want you to take note at home, halfway back of where that club face is in relationship to your wrist. We've got a neutral, we've got a quite closed, and we've got a wide open. I hope that helps you right-handers out there. Be good to each other. See you next time. Bye-bye.